you guys want easy trophies. So here are the 10 easiest brawlers to gain trophies with right now in Brawl Stars. This list is not at all in order. These are just in general, the 10 easiest brawlers to push with. Coming in at number one, we have Sandy. Sandy is one of the most versatile brawlers in all of Brawl Stars. So with Sandy, you guys want to find a map where things are very hectic, where there's a lot of high HP brawlers and there's not so much range. The thing with Sandy is if you can chain the Sandy supers, it doesn't matter the mode. It could be hot zone, it could be gem grab, it could be Brawl Ball, it could even be Heist. I probably wouldn't play Sandy in Heist, but it could even be Heist. As long as you're chaining those Sandy Supers, you should be able to win really easily. You're basically giving three of your teammates invisibility, and over the time of the game, I mean, something's just gonna happen one of those times that you have the Sandy Super. He's super easy to gain trophies with, and as I said, there's a lot of different modes where you can make him work. At low trophy counts, Sandy is super easy to push, and even at high trophies, as long as you get the maps right, still, Sandy is super easy to work with. Second, we have our boy Cordelius. Now, Cord is an absolute beast against all tanks. Like, you guys know, he's probably the best tank counter with, like, Gale and Shelly. Dude is just a straight menace. I mean, just like Sandy, you want to play him in a very hectic environment. So you want a lot of tanks around you. You don't want a lot of range or throwers, although Cordelius can do really well into throwers. The fact that nobody charges super when you're in the dimension with Cordelius is just such a big advantage, and it's just super easy to push Cord right now. Tanks are very meta, so is Poco and Max, and Cordelius just claps all of that. So if you have a maxed out Cord right now, I would recommend pushing it while this is the current meta. Our third brawler today is Angelo. Angelo still needs a nerf. Supercell, please nerf Angelo because he's just way too good. My tip when playing Angelo is hold down your auto aim button, full charge your bow and arrow shot, whatever it is, and just walk right up to people and let go the auto aim. You don't need to aim at all with Angelo. When I play Angelo, I actually just don't aim. I just hold it down and it's so easy to get kills. You can play Angelo on literally every single mode in the game because the super is so good. The shot is so good. The fact that you can hold down the auto aim button, you got, if you don't do this with Angelo, I'm stressing so badly. Just click the button, don't aim it, and just walk right up to someone and let go. It's the most broken thing in the game, and you can win with it absolutely anywhere. Obviously, the poison shot is really important, and the only tip I'm going to give you is if you hit someone with a very charged up shot with your poison, do not hit them again with a smaller shot because it's going to reset their poison damage and make it a smaller number. So if you hit someone with your poison, go focus on somebody else. Coming in fourth, we have Melody, and Melody's a little bit of a weird brawler because it's kind of high skill cap. I know it's a little bit weird to say because she just dashes all over the place, but how good and how far you can take Melody is kind of dependent on how skilled you are with the super. But with that being said, Melody is super good on like every single mode. And obviously you can just dash around the map like crazy. Melody is still very broken right now. Definitely needs another nerf. And I would highly recommend pushing Melody. Coming in at number five, we have a brawler who's probably been nerfed over 10 times and is still somehow somewhat at the top of the meta. We have Larry. I feel like you do need a max Larry because the gadget where you gain HP and so does Lori is really important as well as a star power where you or Lori, I think it's you, take less damage while your Lori is active. Now, if you have both of those, it just makes Larry a little bit overwhelming because you need to waste a lot of ammo on the Lori, which can heal up because of the gadget that you have if you're max level, as well as it's kind of like a Mr. P Penguin where it's just ammo waste and it's very annoying to waste ammo on something that you're not charging super from. And when they're wasting ammo on your Lori, you can just come up and take position, get a kill, do what you need to do. Last thing is Lori is a thrower. So you're not really getting hit that much. You're not really charging your opponent's super, which in this meta is really important because there's just so much going on. Sitting behind a wall, being able to do good damage is more than enough. Larry and Lori is really easy to push, and I would still recommend pushing him if you haven't done so. But I don't know why you haven't since we've already, you know, nerfed him 12 times or something. Coming in sixth, we have Gray. Now, you guys might think this is a little bit weird because my tier list, I did rank Gray so low. But Gray is actually really good as a carry brawler. If you're playing Brawl Ball, you can score crazy goals with Larry. If you're playing gem grab, you can steal the gems with Larry. If you're playing hot zone, you can set up a teleport, you know, zone to your spawn. Like, there's just a lot you can do. Now, Gray isn't necessarily one of the best brawlers, but in terms of, like, pushing on ladder, I think it is pretty easy with Gray. If you have teammates, it's super easy. If you have randoms, it's obviously a little bit harder because it's very good to have Gray along with tanks or some type of aggressive brawler. But if you get matched with randoms that have that, you know, that's good. And if you can carry with Gray, then that's all you need. You don't need your teammates. So, Gray is going to be 
my number six brawler. Coming in at number seven, we have Nita. So I know you guys are probably surprised. You know, Nita's not that good. Well, she is very good, but she's not crazy good. Why is she so high? It's because she's basically good into everything. The only brawlers that Nita isn't good into is throwers, but there's not really that many throwers outside of Larry and the occasional Dynamite every now and then. The bear is really good because it's kind of like having an additional teammate, just like the Lori bot. Even if the bear does literally nothing, even if it hits zero shots and just walks forward, you're still using all the ammo that the brawler that's shooting it has she or he whatever you know the brawler is can literally do nothing to you because you're just gonna walk in a straight line after that bear and as long as it doesn't do pierce damage you're gonna have full hp and that bear is gonna be gone but so is their ammo and that is a free win free whatever for you as a nita especially if you have tanks and other you know high hp brawlers or a poco or a max as a teammate it's just gonna be way too overwhelming and i think nita is perfectly fit in the meta right now especially since there's a lot of tanks a lot of speed and a lot of heals there's just infinite bear cycle for nita and if you have the hypercharge nita's hypercharge is crazy it's such free trophies Coming in at number eight, we have Rosa. I think Rosa is currently the best tank in the game, and she's also kind of like the most, you know, well-versed in a way. I mean, most tanks do, but not all. She does have pierce damage, which is really good. She does get super from getting hit, which is really good. She has a really good hypercharge. Both of her gadgets are actually really good, and both of her star powers are also really good. You combine that with the fact that Rosa, you know, is kind of an easy shot to hit. And it makes for a very, very good tank. Now, if you're a tank main, I would highly recommend leveling up your Rosa and pushing Rosa as much as you can right now. Because again, it's a very good meta for Rosa. Rosa doesn't get as countered at, by tank counters as other tanks do. So I think Rosa is just in a very good sweet spot right now for you if you want to push trophies. Coming in at number nine, we have Jesse. And again, very similar to Larry and Nita. It's just the utility. It's the Jesse turret that's so good. And the bounce is also that's so good with Jesse. As long as you're not facing throwers right now, it's usually really easy wins with Jesse. Same reasons I said the meta is really strong for brawlers that have spawnables and do mass amount of damage. Now I know Jesse doesn't do a mass amount of damage, but the fact that she can bounce shots is pretty wild. And then the spawnable is really good this turret slow like there's just a lot of good to say about jesse you got to avoid range and you got to avoid throwers when you're playing jesse but if you can it should be really really free trophies and coming in at number 10 we have the best brawler in the game we have hank now hank is just an absolute menace we are so prawn ready on this channel i mean hank is just absolutely you know insane he's the best brawler in the world he's just such a stud there's so many good things to say about hank okay i'm kidding hank sucks coming in at number 10 we have amber amber is such a good brawler right now if you are going to push one brawler in the game and i put this brawler last for the real ones who came to the very end of the video and watched the whole thing i would highly recommend pushing amber amber has insane crowd control so the pierce is insane anyone coming towards you if there's two three even four brawlers amber could deal with all of them to be honest it's kind of crazy good in hot zone gem grab brawl ball heist amber is just good everywhere right now and i swear if you were to push one brawler get on the amber and get to playing it is so easy right now again just avoid throwers even range amber can kind of play into just avoid those dang throwers and you should be perfectly fine to gain easy trophies with amber that's gonna be it for me today if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to comment like subscribe it helps me a ton and let me know if you guys gain easy trophies with this video but besides that i'm gonna be out and i'll see you guys again soon peace